Hey, this is Daniela Camboni for StansberryInvestor.com, here to give you a sneak peek of my one-on-one -on -one with media mogul Vince Guzzo. Take a look. In other words, any currency that goes from $1 to $1,000 in 12 months is a currency that's dangerous uh, for everybody. It's a bubble for you? Well, no, it's not a question of a bubble. It, it means it's something that might too easily be manipulated. And, and currencies need to be stable. Interesting, because the counter argument, the Bitcoin people will right. say, Bitcoin is the only currency that can't be manipulated. Well, I mean, let's just say that then uh, Elon Musk uh, should not have talked, right? Because the minute it talked, I think it dropped 33%. Now, could you imagine if the whole world's buying power dropped because one billionaire decided to say something bad about, you know, so that's very dangerous for me. Uh, right now, a lot of people don't realize it. The standard is the U.S. currency, right? They're the ones who, who uh, but, but that's a stable currency. In fact, we had to take it off the gold standard to make it stable. In the case of cryptocurrencies, you know, there's people mining them to try and steal them. There's people, you know, uh, uh, buying into them. And then there's that eternal belief that this parallel currency that is not managed by the banks may be facilitating right. Right, criminal activities or whatever. So you sit there and you okay, like, do we want to push this? Do we want to regulate it more? And you know, the cryptocurrency people tell you, this is the only currency that cannot be controlled by the government. Yeah, I know, but that's a problem because who can it be controlled by then? Right? It's for the people, by the people. Yeah, well, by the people, for the people, you know, that, that's, what, that's what the USSR used to say, right? And, and we know where that ended up. And, and, so, and we okay. know what China says about for the people, by the people, only for the people. And then, you know, so we have to be careful. We have to be very careful about socialistic beliefs. Because at the end of the day, we're humans. To that point, what fascinates me because like I said, I interview a lot of successful people, unfortunately, on a daily basis to be learning from, from people like you. But I always wonder, like, you can, you can make wealth, right? You could yep. make it, but then there's a different level of really making it. Like, I mean, talking multi-million yep. of dollars, okay? How do you go to that level? How do you get there? What's the, is it like a character trait that you found amongst, you know, multi-millionaires? Or is it a drive of continuously wanting to do, of never stopping? What does it take? So ultimately, you know, I think what determines where you're going to stop, right, yeah. is really up to you, and it's also up to a question of luck. In other words, I can probably tell you that you take any of the top 10 wealthiest families in the world, you can probably associate their huge jump in wealth to one deal. Yeah. They did a certain deal at a certain time, which nobody understood. They did. And whether they, have, they fully understood yeah. it or not yeah. is another story. Right. And all of a sudden, they exploded right. Right. in the wealth. Very rarely do you get uh, a Buffett kind of slowly nibbling. Right. You know, I like to call it the beaver nibbling, 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 nibbling. And then you finally realize, hey, look at, look at how much nibbling I got and look at how much wealth I've created. Rarely does that happen. Normally, it's huge jumps. Somebody works really hard. He's almost at the brink of bankruptcy, and then all of a sudden, some guy gives him a value that makes no sense, and now he's a multi-billion, right? That's what we're seeing today. But I always tell people, you've got to enjoy the ride. Vincenzo, what can I say? It was our first time meeting, but I feel like I've known you uh, forever, that I'm part of the familia. So thank you so much for uh, speaking with me today. Thank you for coming all the way from New York to here. And, <laughs> well, back, you know, thank I'm you happy for to, having me on the show. I'm happy to be back in my hometown. But this was the moment of the interview I'm actually waiting for. We're getting to try the pizza. The, pizza. the famous it's coming. Neapolitan pizza. It's on its pizza way. <laughs> the Mr. <Yeah>. Sunshine pizza. <laughs> Mr. Oh, the Mr. Sunshine. This is the Mr. Sunshine oh, wait. pizza. This looks hot, spicy. But that's what happens. It goes it. in warm and it... <laughs> becomes hot as we go. All right. So if you like that and want to see more, be sure to sign up for free at DanielaComboni.com to watch it today.